Hello everyone, welcome to another video in my YouTube channel in English and in this case I'm going to create this geometry using CATIA V6 Part Design APP. So if you want to have the dimensions just to follow the, the next steps, I suggest you to grab a screenshot now of this image and you can have the dimensions as I'm going to move it out of the screen to have the screen let's see cleaner to to start with the geometry okay so we can start now with the geometry we are going to start with the main body so if we have this plane as our support we can create a starting point over rectangle which is going to define the bottom portion of this part and so let's measure total length is uh, 120 and total height is 60 millimeters okay so we have two options here yes uh, create one sketch and use multi pocket or create two sketches so i'm going to use uh, two sketches in this case and yeah maybe in another video i will show you how to use multi pocket as well so sorry multi path in this case so let's uh, go out of this sketch and create just a pad in this case the thickness is going to be 15 millimeters okay and now we can add the radius that we have here so basically on the four corners we have a radius there and so the radius is 20 millimeters okay so we have this geometry ready now and i'm going to create here another uh, sketch and i'm going to project this geometry okay so what is happening i'm not projecting the geometry why i'm not projecting the geometry oh yeah i'm projecting it okay so what i can do is just create here this line and i will make it a construction line and now i can use this projected geometry create a mirror and i have the whole dimension so i'm a, i'm gonna to go out and create now another path of 10 millimeters so now i can create a pocket here and then i will do symmetry of the path and the pocket geometry so let me just try one thing here if i well, if i pick this face project the line and now i should be able to pick this line and create an offset from it okay and this dimension is going to be minus 10 millimeters now i can do construction the outer line because i only want to remove the material defined by the inner dimension so i'm going to do now a pocket up to last and now i can just pick these two operations and create a mirror and i have let's see the bottom portion of my geometry so i'm going to start now with the top geometry so if i create here a sketch okay let's project this line okay and now make that point a construction point make it perpendicular again to the screen and now we can create the geometry that we need to create the top portion so if I do this, I have here a radius and another straight line going down. Another, oops, another radius 
and another straight line and just finish there okay so i need to make this horizontal i need to make this vertical i need to make this two concentric concentricity and now i can start with the dimension so i have here let's make it 25 millimeters okay i have here uh, 10 millimeters and let's see what is the total so i'm going to make this line uh, aligned with the so if i bring here the geometry again oops let me just bring it i will make that line aligned with the axis of the cylinder that i will create in a, an additional operation so that means that that dimension oh, sorry this dimension is 30 millimeters and what else do i need to block is this movement so i have that from this line to this one it will be uh, if i bring here so i'm measuring from this line we have 20 plus 27 it will be 47 and we need to remove 15 so it will be 47 minus 15 that will mean 37 32 isn't it yeah so if i measure this dimension as 32 okay we have the sketch ready and now we just need to create a pad 20 millimeters and it will be a mirror extended isn't it i think it's this option oh no yeah this option yeah mirror extended okay so we now need another sketch and uh, let's make this our support and if we create this cylinder sorry this circle make that point uh, coincident there and make this geometry tangent here uh, with this tangent there okay so now we have the sketch to create the top cylinder and in this case we are going to have 20 millimeters and 30 so 20 will be first limit 30 second limit okay and now just to complete this geometry i hope that you are enjoying this uh, this geometry is not a, a complex geometry but at least uh, you can see the basics and if, if you like it just let me know uh, leaving a comment or giving me a thumbs up that will be much appreciated because that will mean that you like this kind of video so i can use most of my time uh, creating this kind of videos in english because in my yeah, in my channel right now most of the videos are just in Spanish, but I want to start adding more and more information in English as well. If yeah, if it is welcome, let's see. And the only way to see that it is welcome is if you leave me a comment with some suggestions and ideas. So so oh sorry, I have forgotten. I think to add here a dimension let's put there 20 millimeters 20 millimeters radius let's go and that's it this is the geometry that we wanted to create using this 2d drawing so hopefully you have enjoyed the video and if you have not done it yet subscribe to my channel because you will have um, soon more video tutorials full in english for you to increase your cat skills so see you in my next video tutorial bye